when the believer receives jesus christ alongside with the coming of the holy spirit to indwell that believer there is an engracing that comes this is what is called the anointing within it is responsible for the inner work it is that anointing within that is responsible for the inner work of character and conformity to the image of christ in experience are we together the anointing within has nothing to do with ministry per se ministering to people the recipient is the principal beneficiary of that anointing so when that engracing comes it begins to do the inner work of cleansing the inner work of building the character of christ it is the anointing that produces what we call the fruit of the spirit are we together now the manifestation of the character of the spirit in the believer love joy peace patience so it doesn't matter where you are coming from it doesn't matter the prior mindset the moment you come into christ with the indwelling of the holy spirit comes the advantage of that engracing is called the anointing within are we together now it is your responsibility to walk in partnership with the holy spirit to cultivate and increase that anointing that anointing can become docile and dormant through your non-participation while you focus on other aspects of the anointing listen very carefully in as much as it comes to work in you all through the process of that regeneration and transformation the holy spirit depends on your cooperation he will never force your will are we together so you can choose even with the anointing within dwelling in you that i'm not interested in building the character of the christ you will see that you have been saved genuinely but the proof the fruit of righteousness does not manifest in you and as you will be learning what gives credence to this next level of the anointing i want to talk about is this very one because when all is said and done you will be learning that the anointing upon is for service that is the charismatic dimension of the anointing that is the one people usually see that is one they usually celebrate but in order of spiritual superiority this one you have received is the one that makes you like christ the one that i'm about to talk about helps you to do the works of christ it does not make you like christ so you can be an individual who is not like christ yet you are doing the work of christ did you hear what i said just because you correctly you can be doing the work of christ correctly but you are none of his because that transformation and that conformity you see that it is the reason why you do not accredit people based on the manifestation of the gifts of the spirit and so on and so forth are we together a rod can receive the anointing upon but it cannot become like christ a donkey can talk just because an anointing came upon it are we together now yes the bible talks about the fruit of the spirit then it talks about the gift of the spirit fruit is proof that a tree has become matured it takes time for fruit you don't plant a tree and then it produces fruit no are we together fruit is a testament that maturity has happened to that tree it's important that we get this because there are many people who because of the charismatism around this other dimension they ignore this inner walking because it's usually quiet can i tell you before god announces you this first phase if you are to grow correctly when god calls you for a long time the anointing upon will not come and that's what beguiles many people that they are not making spiritual progress because we usually think when the anointing comes the power now everybody begins to hear about you and most people graduate themselves from the school of the spirit not allowing him to walk this inner walk in them what helps you to sustain the anointing upon is the strength of your walk with god within because now you will be learning that with the anointing upon there are many things that it brings fame increase are we together levels financial increase your name it is this inner walking that helps you it's like the foundation you see when you plant a tree you don't see the root but that is really what holds the tree but that is the invisible part of it no matter what you do to that tree if you have not affected the root even if you cut it you only wasted your time it's a matter of time are we together now yes 
if you want to destroy a tree you don't pluck out the leaves and the fruit one by one it's a total waste of time you call it uprooting not up stemming not up branching up rooting so you go to the root and disconnect it from the earth and leave it there at the time you do it you will still see the branches looking green it's only a matter of time everything will fade down are you learning now so the anointing within is that engracing that produces the fruit of the spirit that is what causes you to love the lord listen to desire his presence and to be like him loving the lord and desiring him is not mechanical if it is mechanical you will be tired one day there is an anointing that actually causes men to love the lord to seek him you cannot be worshiping for four hours eight hours praying all the time locking yourself and you are with god alone no it is not given to humans to be that are we together now we are beings of activity whatever will give you the grace to shut down it is that anointing so when you see someone who does not love church does not love the things of god um even if the person is saved the diagnosis i'm helping you so you can help other people immediately with this intelligence you can see a believer and know with precision what is already wrong it may not be that the person is not saved he's been in church for years but you cannot see that conformity the problem is that he does not know that he has a responsibility to work in partnership with the spirit of god work in partnership with the word to allow that anointing do the inner work in him how do you know the anointing is working in you because very soon you will stop looking like where you came from with all due respect it doesn't matter whether you come from the north from the south territorially speaking we come with baggages of limitations that are traced to our foundation so you can see someone and if he tells you i'm from so 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 place you can almost predict so you are all these people with this your attitude how do you know you are growing because as that anointing begins to walk in you there is a reorientation it cuts certain desires and introduce other kinds of desires so that the things you once laughed at now you desire you didn't want to pray in the spirit now you are the one who is spearheading prayer when you see spiritual laxity in believers what they need is not impartation for ministry what they need is an activation of that inner well that anointing within are you seeing that sometimes men of god we make mistakes because when people come and they say i'm weak spiritually my life is not this i'm not conforming to the image of christ sometimes what we now do is to say we want to anoint them for service this person is already dead on arrival what is he going what service is he going to do everybody say the anointing within this one does not come upon your head this one is within your spirit that is what turns Saul to Paul are we together now yes show me a man who has been trained to take advantage of the anointing within you will never see the weak version of him again you come as you are but you don't remain as you are because you are given this anointing believers hear me are we together now yes sir the anointing within it is not charismatic no it is not shouting nobody even knows what god is doing in you but from that the abundance of what he's doing this is what jesus focused on producing in the believers when he resurrected notice is let tarry ye but the issue is they were frustrated because they expected the impartation to have happened earlier he sat them down was teaching them love your neighbors and they said come on we've, we've stayed with you too long give us this power to go and heal the sick and they even took initiative by themselves and were disappointed the mount of transfiguration the disciples took initiative and they were so disappointed they came back and they said jesus what is all this but he said tarry ye. if that anointing within did not work in them all of them would have given up and they would have run away what really made them apostles was not just their signs and wonders they would never be able to go through martyrdom if that inner walking is not there listen the ability to live for jesus and if need be die for jesus is not based on the anointing that comes on your head there is an inner walking you have gotten into a level of love and passion for jesus that is bigger than ministry 
bigger than money and can i tell you the staying power the ability to remain when circumstances are not favorable that really makes you a true christian that staying power that stamina is from the anointing within it says if you turn aside in the day of battle it is because your strength is small hallelujah so paul is praying and he says strengthen with all might in the inner man the inner man the inner man now because our generation is a charismatic generation we generally have an obsession give me the one that will make people know me now holy ghost you can manage whatever you see within but let's focus on the one that can give me fame open up doors for ministry unfortunately it does not work that way i'm comforting someone already because from all through this year you kept focusing on the anointing upon and the holy spirit told me is, is telling you even by my talk now that it is true that you are called to the nations but it does not start with an impartation upon you stay while he walks and sometimes one of the way god achieves that huh, is to hide a part of your assignment to you so it does not distract you and he will give you a position in church that is not really the position you'll be having later on but that one is a temporary position to keep you serving are we together did you understand what i just said so you are called to be a great man of god but God, because he wants to get your attention, he can put you in the ushering department and everybody around you knows that this man is an usher plus something else. That's something else we don't know. And sometimes you will feel so insulted that you are walking there and God keeps you there. There is a work that he's doing. But one day, I was so touched when I was watching the documentary. Do you see that same pattern even in your pastor's life? From the head of choir and then one day usually destiny opens up and the challenge is that most people do not know they cannot see what the holy spirit is doing within it is when that charismatic power comes then usually they say where did this one come from there is nobody who comes from nowhere except it's not by the holy ghost just because you are not aware of the training of david it was not listen saul's encounter with david or um, Samuel's encounter with David was not the first time God began to work on him. The work had been happening in the wilderness. Are we together now? Yes. So for someone, my encouragement for you right now before we continue is do not disrespect what the Holy Spirit is doing within you just because no one knows you. They may not know you, they may not call you that name, but there is still a prophet within you. There is still a woman of God within you. Don't look at your colleagues and say, we all started together. That's not how God works. The nature of your assignment can determine, it can make you stay five years and you'll be roaming around like you don't know what you are doing. It is because of the way God is going to be using you. Is someone listening now? The anointing within. All those who know this, in truth, they place more value on the operation of the spirit within than even that which comes to give you ministerial exploits that is why when we finish doing what we need to do with the anointing upon we rush back and say father continue the work because it is the strength of what is happening in the secret place can i tell you if you lose the operation of the anointing within you will be like a fan it's only a matter of time you know when you off light from a fan it still rotates but there is no power to continue again and I say this with all due respect. This is also one of the explanations behind the balloon success that you see in our world. So people are just visible within a season. Everybody can know you. People can call you this. And then after one, two years, may you last. I say to you, may you last. It is better to not even start that journey than to attract the attention of a generation only to go down and they ask where did you go to hallelujah are we together the inner walking of the spirit building character you wake up in the morning and the holy spirit tells you unplanned for the next one week we are fasting you are supposed to travel he says no it's not an emergency what are you doing with me oh god and you stay back and you are praying and the devil comes to you and says i hope you know time is going 
this your god thing you are doing you will soon become your life will become a waste one of the ways you know that you are walking with god ba, is that there are many things about your life you will not be able to explain because there is a hand bigger than you that is driving you through destiny when you become excessively intellectual and logical then forget about becoming not with god someone just gives you a gift one million and just when you want to relax and enjoy it you are bringing out your tight god says no it's not for you i only use you to collect it i'm going to tell you the person you will send it to and you are saying god what is the meaning of this was it not to you i was praying that you would give me two hundred thousand. now one million came and not even two hundred thousand. it is not about the money he's doing something to your heart in that training pride dies in that training your ego dies in the year that king uzziah died i isaiah saw the lord you need to understand this so that you don't just get excited about the hand of god it is the anointing within hallelujah are we learning the key is to wait and to stay with the holy spirit even if you do not understand what he's doing you trust him your daily meditation the lord building you someone will annoy you and the holy spirit will tell you to tell the person who offended you sorry and you say god please this, this is enough what kind of training are we doing say, say sorry you can choose to refuse but he now says say sorry and you stand saying sorry then the person says i thought you wouldn't say sorry and it pains you again and you are like god what are you doing This is funny but it's the truth is how he works with us so the anointing within comes to all believers at salvation and it can increase with yieldedness the more you are yielded to the spirit the more you are yielded to his training the more you are yielded to his dealing you will find that there is a rich deposit of the christ life in you at the end of that training let me tell you everybody who sees you regardless where you come from you will become about the clearest picture of jesus that they can see and it's not like it's something you plan to do it was just a byproduct of your diligence and your yieldedness you will find out that the anger is nowhere to be found the lust is nowhere to be found the pride is nowhere to be found whereas the you of before if someone touches you you don't even talk to the person you will blow the person first and then when the person turns you say with this that has happened learn next time that you will not step on my stove but something happens within you so when people in church remain as they are i am telling you this is the diagnosis they are not yielding to the spirit to do that inner walking and now sometimes we make the mistake of using longevity to lift and promote people just because people have been around the spiritual system for many years does not mean they have allowed that anointing to work are we together now god bless you for listening to the sermon if you're here to give your life to christ say this prayer lord jesus i repent of my sins and surrender my life wash me clean I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that He died on the cross for my sins and rose on the dead day for my victory. I believe that in my heart and make confession with my mouth that Jesus is my Savior and Lord. God bless you. Congratulations. You are now free.